So hey guys, as you can see here, it's a new video, and um, yeah, if you can just tell, I have the Naruto and Kinata um, combination card. So it's a Naruto um, Uzumaki and Kinata Hyuga's Mother Day event. So for today, uh, actually, just quick, just quickly, um, I'd strongly recommend to do any dungeon of the or any of the normal dungeons, um, because you're gonna get some items off of it, and it's the Mother's Day item. Basically, it's going to give you either gold, all-powerful scrolls, stuff like that, essentially. Um, Hinata gets her secondary passive. Now, before I start on the rewards for recharging, keep in mind that for today and today only is the only time that you can get the combination card for Hinata and Naruto Uzumaki. Now, it's actually very, very pricey. It costs more or less $160. Um, you need to recharge 5k, and you will only get this. You The only reward that you're going to get is triple gold recharge. And you're also only going to get the combination card. Now, before you say that's too much, um, keep in mind that this is my combination card. And it's at 5.1 million worth of combat, apparently. And yeah, it can use multiple Shadow Clone Jutsu, uh, multiple Shadow Clone, the Flame Tailed Beast Ball, and the skill is called Gentle Phoenix Byron Twin Fist, Lion Fist. Um, deals ninjutsu damage with additional ninjutsu and taijutsu damage to all enemies. Opposite enemy will seal points for two rounds. Cannot release skills. No need to hit. Possibility silence and burn all enemies. It ignores backhand. So basically that means it ignores all sorts of um, any sort of um, annoying effects like for example Mike Guy who has the annoying tendency to pull it, put up a shield. Um, it will ignore that and it just won't happen. But this is a very good combination card, as you can see here, just by itself, with my Hinata and Naruto um, being equipped to it. Um, it has 5.1 million worth of combat, and these are its stats. 111k dodge, 469k daijutsu attack, 796k ninjutsu attack, um, 300, 301k hit, 221k taijutsu defense, 440, 404k k ninjutsu defense so it's a very powerful card and it will definitely boost up your cp it's currently my second most powerful card so keep that in mind um which is saying something coming from me um so yeah this is a naruto uzumaki and kinata hyuga mother's day event so the only way that you can get this combo card is by recharging 5k uh worth of gold for the day obviously you're going to get 15k worth of gold um just for recharging that 5k because it is triple gold recharge but um, that's up to you whether it's worth it or not. Now, um, a after today, which is going to start tomorrow, um, tomorrow is going to be the normal recharge rewards, which means that tomorrow you're going to be able to get um, Kinata's secondary passive for 1,900 gold, which is, for me, $60. Um, I'm going to see if I can do that. Maybe, maybe not. Um, because I did drop a lot for the combination card, and quite honestly, the combination cards are really, already very, very powerful, but if I do, um, drop those $60 for the secondary passive, then honestly, my, my combo card and my Hinata will be even stronger. Um, Hinata has two passives that are very, both of them are very powerful, actually. Um, so, I mean, yeah, she could just be stronger. Now, if I go ahead and equip, uh, not equip, but I, if I put in Hinata, and Naruto into my team, uh, they just get the combo card obviously gets stronger because of the combination bonus for Hinata and Naruto being together. As you can see here, the combination card got stronger, 5.4 million worth of combat. Hinata 3.67 million, 3.67 million worth of combat. Naruto 4.2 million worth of combat. And together they, for the combination card, they get 4, 5.4 million worth of combat. So it's a very, very, very powerful card. Uh, keep in mind, I do have a few extra items on Kinata and Naruto, and a couple of collections open, but either way, this is a very powerful card. Um, 5.4 million worth of combat. It's very, very good. <sighs> um, but yeah, so the rewards um, are for today only to recharge um, for the combination card, and for uh, recharging to 20, you're going to get the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the Mother's Day, uh, the Mother's Love Hinata Hyuga skin. It doesn't come with any sort of um, skills or anything, but it does come with a uh, nice um, skin. Basically, it doesn't come with the skin. It comes with the. It doesn't come with the skill. It comes with the skin, which looks nice. Basically, um, as you can see here, Mother's Day collection event, uh, gift collection. You can get up to. Um, let's see. You can get up to ten. Technically, eleven Mother's Day gift. Um, you can open them and you have a chance to um, 
uh, obtain Naruto biographies, gold times 300, all powerful scrolls times 8, um, rare or 50, will of fire times 1, say toad's age times 1, big toad kichi times 1, silver um, coin, 0. 0.6 million, um, seal stone times 1, I mean, the rewards aren't that good, but they're free shit, basically. Um, but yeah, once again, only for today, you're going to be able to get the combination card. Um, to get it, you need to recharge 5,000 gold. You're obviously going to get 15k worth of gold um, in total for recharging that much because you're going to get the combination card. And since it's a triple gold recharge today, you're going to get the 15k worth of gold. Um, I did it. I like the card. It looks pretty nice and it's fairly, fairly powerful. It's not like the Haku ends up as a card where it's it's something nice to look at, but not very powerful. Um this card's very powerful, actually, so I'll showcase it in a second, but just keep that in mind. Um, tomorrow, I'm trying to decide whether or not to do the hundred, the $60 for um, Kinata Secondary Passive. It will make her a lot more powerful, but at the same time, eh, I'm trying to decide whether it's worth it or not. And, I mean, Kinata's part of my main team, so it may just be worth it. Now, if you want Naruto's um, Secondary Passive, you're actually going to have to recharge $3,100 I mean, 3,100 gold tomorrow, which is $100 for me. So you're going to have to recharge 3,100 gold tomorrow, and you're going to get Kushin, I mean, Hinata's and Naruto secondary passive, but if you only want Hinata's, you're going to have to recharge 1,900. And yeah, um, if you recharge 10k, you're basically going to have enough um, Will of Fire to just make a Diamond Naruto. I mean, 10, it's it's a decent thing, I suppose. But, I mean, I'm not really needing a Diamond Naruto because I already have a Diamond Naruto. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, now for the consumption event, it's good. I mean, it's nothing too impressive. It's mostly concentrating on, on Kinata. Um, I wouldn't say it's bad, but, yeah, like I said, it's mostly concentrating on Hinata. Um, if you want to recharge, I mean, consume during this event um, for Naruto, it's it's fine because you're going to get both of the... You're actually going to get the Shadow Clone, multiple Shadow Clone uh, passive at 40k worth of gold, which before it would be 50, 55k. So, I mean, that's very good. And, I mean, you get a lot of Hinata's items and equipment and such. Um, you actually get maybe two i believe of naruto's items which are the um the sage cloak and the um scarf now the scarf and the sage cloak are fairly powerful um as you can see here they're here they handed a scarf tier 4 level 120 168k stamina enhances hp for an ninja who wears it increases an extra 98k hp 58k taijutsu attack to him naruto i'm sorry for that loud noise i didn't realize that i had my um, ringtone and such all the way up. Um, sorry. Uh, but yeah, so these are very good cards. Um, I mean, Kinata, she's always been a bit of a lower level card, um, especially right now. But with her secondary passive, she should go up to a solid 3.8 million combat, at the very least 3.7 million combat. So, I mean, I'm interested in that. Um, but, uh, yeah. But the combination card, really, really powerful, as you can see. Now, the skill itself is re very useful, actually, if you think about it, because um, it will definitely seal um, one card. Even a card that's not supposed to be sealed, it will definitely seal it. Now, um, it has a high amount of critical, obviously, because you have it with Naruto and Hinata. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's got a decent amount of power and such. Uh, but, yeah, very good card, in my opinion. And I'll go ahead and show you what it does. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Now, you can actually choose, like, the Zabuza and Haku um, card for the which um, passive you want to put on it, like the Demon Cl Fox Cloak. I don't want to put that on the card. I put the Shadow Clone, multiple Shadow Clone, because that just makes it stronger. You can also choose to put in the Flame-Tailed Beast. Um, now, I did find this, which was interesting. Now, if you have a card that has the Flame-Tailed Beast, uh, which would be Naruto, actually, if he has that active skill equipped, when you equip it to the card, it stays on the card. It doesn't disappear. Now, if you take it off of Naruto, you're not going to be able to re-equip it, but it will still stay equipped to the combination card. So I can un unequip it right now if I want. I can't even unequip it, actually. But, um, yeah, if I want to unequip it, I have to equip the p active skill back on Naruto. But, if, um, but yeah, see? Um, but if I take it off of Naruto, the the combination card will still have that equipped on so we're going to try to do stop nagato and as you can see here he's going to be sealed and look at the damage um it's a fairly decent amount of damage actually unfortunately it's not really much for defense especially against a monster like nagato when it comes to ninja to attack damage as you saw that was a 5.4 million worth of damage and the mm -hmm. 
And this is just dealing a 14 million, I do believe that was, with four Shadow Clones. I believe I've seen it up all the way up to 32 million. Keep in mind that it does have a, a fire effect if you can get it on it. Um, which it does 400 and something. Did 400 and something worth of damage. Um, the fire debuff isn't particularly good, but either way, it's a very good and decently powerful card. Um, I'm not quite sure whether or not I'll be able to take on the six tails, but that's because of the HP stuff and such. But yeah, it's a very good card in my opinion, and a very definitely a very big CP boost, especially to my team. It's 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 now my second second most powerful card after Zetsu. If you don't count Zetsu, it's my most powerful card. So I mean that should tell you something at the very least. And yeah, um, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and equip this to Naruto because I actually want to take off that active off of the combination card, and we're gonna go all the way to the combo card and change it and then equip it. Oh, and yeah, once again, sorry uh, that I did that. But once again, you can change it, change the passive skill. You can change it to Gentle Step, Bind, Twin Fist. Change it to that if you if you truly want to. The reason I put in Shadow Clone is because Shadow Clone seemed to me more... It did more damage, basically. But 5.7 million, 1.8 million worth of damage. I mean, it's still very, very powerful. <laughs> And it has a lot of HP, just because, well, Naruto and uh, Hinata have a lot of HP um, when combined and such. But, uh, yeah. He wins, yada yada. They win, actually. So, and then you can put in the Fox Cloak. And go ahead and attack. The Fox Cloak, it just provides a shield. Doesn't do much other than that. But as you can see, a 4.8 million worth of shield. Um, and actually, quite interestingly enough, if I go ahead and uh, do that, as you see here, um, we're going to go over here to Hokage. And look at the shield that this card provides. Um, since it has a higher HP, the shield is a lot higher. So it's a 19 million worth, 19 million shield. So, I mean, that's very, very good. And as you saw, um, what's his face? Um, my guy didn't put up a shield. Uh because of having uh, it not activating backhand. So cards like um, Chojiro, um, cards like Sasuke, cards like, um, who else? Uh, cards like Sasuke uh, with his Senju power, um, cards mm -hmm. like Itachi mm -hmm. with crows and such, um, won't be able to get it. Um, I'll, I'm actually Scott, <laughs> I'm answering your question. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, you have to recharge 5k for that. Remember that. You have to recharge 5k for this card. It's a lot, but it's a very powerful card, keep in mind. Um, but yeah, so that's really about it when it comes to the showcase for this. Um, I like it. It's actually even useful in the Tailed Beast. Um, as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and try to do the Five Tails. And as you saw, it did a uh, 652k debuff, uh, fire debuff damage. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's a debuff. So, I mean, it's something. It's obviously not quite as strong as Naruto Shadow Clones. But, I mean, once again, it is something. Um, It's still going to do something against, like, the Ninetales and such. I don't think that this card can be overclocked just naturally. Um, I, I doubt that it can. Um, because, well, uh, Naruto, not Naruto, um, because, how shall I put this, the card doesn't replenish its own, um, what do you call it? Yeah, it doesn't replenish its own, uh, its own, uh, percentage bonus so it's always just kind of gonna kind of gonna stay at the um at that point right there yeah it's always gonna just kind of stay there um, I mean, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to kill Sakura, honestly. 
Well, maybe because she's not healing fast enough. He's still dealing enough damage where she's not healing fast enough. Um, but he's not going to be able to one-hit KO her because he just doesn't overclock naturally. You would need Hashirama to overclock him, honestly. Yeah, because like I said, Sakura, I mean, Naruto doesn't, this, the combination card doesn't do it naturally. You would need to get somebody like Hashirama to over do it for you. So it, that kind of sucks, but, uh, I mean, it, it happens, I suppose, um, yeah, but if um, Hashirama, if you put in a Hashirama in front of Naruto and an Orochimaru in the middle, he should be able to overclock. So, I mean, that's that's nice, basically. Naruto should be able to overclock if you put in a Hashirama, purple card Hashirama with the, what do you call it? The, um, the seal, the, not seal, the Hobi technique. Uh, if you equip the Hobi technique to Hashirama uh, with a Naruto and such, with and all that, well, Naruto should be able to kill, um, should be able to overclock, but unfortunately, he can't overclock by himself naturally. It's just the way that it, that goes sometimes. And I mean, keep in mind, he's dealing like half damage right about now, but that's because he's gonna be able to kill, um, Sakura if she if he gets a red curse seal, but that's because it's not because he overclocked, it's because of the um, Shadow Clones bonuses that he got. He's quite literally killing her nearly with, um, you know, critical damage at weakened in this weakened state. Now imagine if he got, yeah, he's going to get red curse seal. She heals and he nearly one hit kills her. The debuff did her in. But yeah, he doesn't overclock naturally. You're going to need a Hashirama for that. Either way, a very, very good card and very powerful card. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for that showcase at the very least. Um, can't really do a showcase for Hinata just yet. I don't have all of her passives equipped to her, her secondary passive. I'm going to be debating whether or not. I mean, it looks like I'm more than likely going to, but, um, as of right now, it looks like I'm more than likely going to, but I still haven't fully decided. And, uh, yeah, it's a very powerful card. It's especially good in the Ninja World War. Um, because keep in mind, in the Ninja World War, um, what do you call it? Uh, a lot of the deadlier cards are really uh, just cards who have the ability to, um, what do you call it? Who have to, who have the ability, like, um, might guide to shield themselves or have the ability, uh, ability like, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, not might guide, but like, um, Chojiro to attack you back instantly. Uh, basically doing rebuild, uh, what do you call it, just doing a skill before your own skill attack and such, so I mean, there is that, but uh, yeah, this is my team, and right about now, I'm topped up at 31.1 million worth of combat CP, so that's nice, um, it did certainly boost me up at least 1 million worth of CP, um, so yeah, like I said, very, very powerful card, and very good in the Ninja World War and in, in the arena, once again, because that skill, if you go first, it's not going to trigger any backhands. It's not going to trigger, like, shields from my guy. It's not going to trigger anything such as that, like Zetsu. The only difference between Zetsu and this one is really that this one does a lot more damage, but Zetsu is a lot more safer when it comes to stunning. So, I mean, Zetsu is a little bit better in that respective, but the Hinata and Naruto one does a lot more damage. Yeah. Once again, to get the combo card, you're going to have to go ahead and use the, um, not use, but recharge 5k gold in total. Um, no other way about it. Um, you can't consume for it. You'll, you can only recharge for it. Unfortunately, it kind of sucks, but that's just how this game works nowadays, really. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's about it for that and i'm gonna go ahead and do some q a oh yeah by the way before i stop doing anything with the game really um you can actually get hinata's um passive from the shop now as you can see here it's called this is a level 90 passive for hinata it's called seal chakra punch uh you can get it for uh, apparently 10k worth of gold i already had it from a previous event 
Um, I just don't equip it to Hinata because her um, level 105 passive is better. I mean, if I do get that secondary passive, I'm going to go ahead and equip it to Hinata. But um, as of right now, I still haven't quite decided whether or not to. Either way, this is a very good skill. And yeah, that's about it for that. So we're going to go to YouTube now and let's see what the questions are for today's daily Q&A. Um, but yeah, so here we go. And here we go. Pause that. And um, I need help beating Danzo real bad. I can't beat him. Which Danzo? Actually, Aizua. Because there's like three. Um, just tell me the dungeon and I'll try to work out a strategy with your team. I, I know you commented your team a while back. So I should be able to like, you know, form a strategy. Um, sorry that I keep on delaying you. But um, yeah, I mean... Mostly my fault, man. Uh, Naughty Gamer, is there any way I can contact you? I do graphic design and would happily do you one. Um, you can contact me online uh, on the line app, as you can see here. Uh, right over here, line, just contact me, send me a message. Um, my ID is Luis0085, I believe. Let's see. Um, yeah, Luis0085, user ID, just add me by my ID, and I'll get back at you. Um, although, I don't know whether I'll actually commission anything really right now, because um, Scott really did what I mostly needed here, which would is the banner and my um, little profile picture thing. So, I mean, uh, maybe later on, but, um, you know, don't want to get your hopes up, basically. Um, but thanks, Naughty Gamer. I appreciate that. Um, Fire Red, hi Luis, you have another account in Server 12, because I found you with the name Virgil. Um, oh, I mean, Server 12 is my main account. I'm number one in it, basically. So yeah, it's probably found me. Um, let's see, uh, Kudai the Emo, is there any way to get, uh, Mike Guy 8 and their gates skin without spending 99.99 gold? Um, you have to get them, you have to train them up all the way to Diamond to get that skin, could I? Um, yeah, there's, uh, apart from that, there's no way to get, um, get, um, what's his face? Get him to Diamond, uh, get that skin. You have to get him up to, di to Diamond for my guy. I want to ask something. The Sage Cloak Naruto does need the Uza Badge of Uzumaki Clan to upgrade to Tier 4. I think it does, if I remember correctly. Here, let's see. Let's equip that sage cloak to oh hey where the hell is the sage cloak I could have sworn I equipped it to somebody or I had one I know I had a sage cloak I, I had an extra one from the last event or at least I thought I did did I sell it holy crap did I sell that stupid cloak I mean I didn't need it but uh fairly sure it is it was a Maki clan um, Uzumaki clan badge, uh, but for the scarf, it, is, it has to be the patchwork, uh, thing. God damn it, I'm fairly sure it's the Uzumaki clan, Uzumaki clan badge for that stupid cloak. But it does look like I did sell it, so I'm sorry, man. I can't really help you out there. Yeah, I only have one version. So yeah, I'm fairly sure it's the Uzumaki clan badge. Um, let's see, um, Naughty Gamer, after you get level 105 and apply Bloodline Stones, it says, seal, what does that mean? Bloodline Stones, um, see, the only way to, uh, open these is, uh, to refresh them. Uh, I suppose this seal thing right here, which is what you're talking about, um, that's an only open until you get it to level 120, which they haven't released yet, so, yeah. Sorry, man. It's not out yet. That's why it says seal. Nobody has it. And um, until they release the level 120 cards, nobody will have it. Um, let's see. Uh, can you show a max version of Kidan and Kokozu? They are two of my favorite ninja. I'd just like to see how powerful they could be to use. Um... Well, that's the thing, though. Like, I've never really tried to get Hidan or Kakazu's um, items. I do have them at Diamond, but unfortunately, I don't have all of their items and skills. 
Uh, I will tell you this, though. Kakazu is very, very powerful. Um, uh, Hokage's Kakazu has been the reason why I die a few times up against him here. Just watch. Um, as you can see, this is water. That's his Kakazu. And, uh, yeah, he has a lot of HP. Now, he has, um, the, uh, the second Tichukage Mu, um, is passive on, um, on him. But either way, it's very good. It's a very powerful card. Just watch. So mask monsters, see how much damage they do. Then they stun like that little in front. Um, when he does critical, he can usually kill um these two cards and even uh, what's his name uh. Damn, what is his name? Um. Jiraiya, and also another thing, uh, he has like a nineteen million worth of shield. The only person who can take away that shield instantly would be my guy for me. Um, I mean, uh, Naruto could do it, but only after, like, five rounds, because by then he would have his Shadow Clones on him, making him that much stronger. But that 19 million shield is a real pain in my ass. So, I mean, um, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> Obviously, it was a group, uh, group effort, but on, but quite, but really, it's, uh, what's his name? Kakazu, who did the most damage against my team. With my guy coming in at a close second. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, Kakuzu is really powerful. It's just that I've never really invested into him, apart from getting him to Diamond for the collection bonus. Same thing with Hidan. So, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, RW, keep up the good work, Luis. Thank you, R RW. I appreciate that. Luis Nieto, what's the difference between a regular seal and a perfect seal? Luis, you actually messaged me online, and I kind of forgot to message you back. Um, but, I mean, I'll answer it here. Sorry, man. I'll, I'll shoot you a message right after the video is done with it. But, basically, as Joey says... Um, Yeah, um, Joey Good says it pretty well here, Luis. Um, so, yeah, he's quite right. Strongest father and son is better for you if you're lower level. Um, Indara Arrow is better for Sasuke if he can actually build up to it. So, I kind of explained this a video or two back. Um, Naruto, he's able to deal damage instantly. He does a lot of damage very quickly, but he'll only stay at that damage. He'll plateau. Or unless you have a, a way to overclock him with Hashirama, but that's a whole nother story. But um, with Sasuke, if you can build up your you your um, if you can survive the whole thirty rounds, by the time he gets to round thirty, Sasuke will be dealing a lot more damage than Naruto. The problem is surviving all the way up to those thirty rounds. Um, most chapters, especially in the beginning, don't last that long. Um, so yeah, your best bet would actually be go to go to go with strongest father and son. Now, the difference between a regular seal and a perfect seal. Well, the regular seal is a lot easier to get, quite honestly. It has a 40% chance to be done, whereas the um, the success rate of the perfect seal is only a 20% chance. Um, the common seal, 55%, and the perfect, uh, 20%. I misspoke about the 40%. But, um, yeah, the the success rate of it's a lot higher. Um, although the stats are lower, for the perfect seal, you get double those stats, um, so say we want to seal something into my Orochimaru, which let's say it's the six tails. Um, with the normal, with the normal seal, he'll, he will get 24k HP, 12k ninjutsu defense, 60%, mm -hmm. 60 attributes mm -hmm. and 4.2k worth of hit. Now with perfect seal, he's going to get 48k HP, 24k ninjutsu defense, 120 attribute, and 8k hit. So I mean, the perfect seal is obviously better, but it's a lot rarer, so it could be a lot harder. Um. So yeah, it looks like that's about it for this video. Not many other questions. I'm kind of sorry if I did, um, did uh, skip over your questions. I didn't particularly mean to do that. 
um, sometimes I just miss those, and, like, I get, like, a blind spot or whatever, and I'm like, oh, hey, move on, and my mind doesn't register it, but, I mean, yeah, that's about it for this video, so leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you don't, I uh, appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video, um, tomorrow we'll see whether or not I get the secondary pass of Rikinata, and if I do, I'm gonna do a showcase for Rikinata Diamond, because I'll have all of her items, all of her skills, and all of her passives and actives. So yeah, like I said, that's about it for this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you don't. I appreciate you watching, and bye.